Well, if you are a regular viewer of this broadcast, then you probably saw an interview between my co-anchor Vince and Springfield Mayor Mike Houston 10 days ago in the mayor's office about the police shredding scandal, but with little success. Well, since uh, May 2013, the mayor has refused to answer any specific questions, such as what he knew, when he knew, who was involved, and why a hasty change to the police contract was made. Now, that change allowed the department to immediately destroy an embarrassing police file of a high-ranking officer that was under a FOIA request. So, after our Friday the 13th sparring session, if you will, the mayor, some may say, went into damage control. As Houston appeared on a popular local radio talk show where the mayor opens up just a little bit about shredding. So tonight, I examine what the mayor said on that radio show and compare his statements to 18 months worth of archived interviews from the mayor that he's made here to News Channel 20 and to others on the subject to see if they pass muster. Understand. We understand that. Well, this is all just out there. I'm asking you, did you ever confront Chief Williams, Deputy Chief Busher, Mark Cullen, Jeanette Wittendorf after this happened and ask them, how did this happen? Why did this happen? What was your motive for destroying Deputy Chief Busher's file that was under a FOIA request? Did you ever ask those questions, sir? Those things have all... It's a yes out. or no answer, Mayor. Did you ask those Vince, questions? I will answer your question. But Springfield Mayor Mike Houston did not answer those questions or any others I had for him that day about the April 2013 document shredding scandal at the Springfield Police Department. Now, two days prior to this, the state attorney appellate prosecutor released a one-page review of the case it, along with the state police, had investigated for the previous 18 months. The appellate prosecutor states it found there wasn't enough evidence to prove a crime but did use words like inept, indifferent, legal irresponsibility, and embarrassingly incompetent conduct to describe what happened. But no names nor any motives were mentioned. So after two days of having my request to interview the mayor ignored, I caught up with him at a city hall press conference on an unrelated matter. Did you ask those questions of those people? It's yes or no, sir. I asked questions. What questions did you ask? I asked questions. I did not get sufficient answers. Could you tell us what, what you were told? What questions did you ask? That has all been in the press. A thorough search of our archives and that of other local media outlets did not show at any time when Mayor Houston spoke about the specifics of the case. The interview with the mayor ended this way. And we are finished. Thank you. So you're, so you're not going to tell us what questions you asked, what you did? And joining us in studio this morning is the incumbent mayor of Springfield, Mike Houston. Mayor, good morning to you. Thanks so much for taking the time. We appreciate good it. Good morning, Jim, on a nice, cool morning. Three days after a uh, tete -tete, Mayor Houston appears on Jim Leach's show on WMAY. It's February 17th, and it appears the mayor is in damage control after our tense exchange because he's now ready, apparently, to answer some questions and make some admissions about shredding. The city readily admitted in court that we had had done wrong so i mean there's there's no question with regards to that but houston didn't, didn't elaborate didn't name names what he is referring to is this court document from august 9th 2013. it was filed by lawyers hired to defend the city from a lawsuit filed by a man who filed a freedom of information act request for the police internal affairs file of then deputy police chief cliff busher in the document the city admits it willfully and intentionally destroyed that file. In November of 2013, we caught up with Mayor Houston to ask him about it. Certainly they have to know who was responsible. You know who's responsible, sir. Who are they? You may know who is responsible. And you certainly have better records, apparently, than the, the city as a result of having internal affairs documents but I don't have that information. So are you saying you don't know who's responsible? I'm indicating that I am waiting for a investigation. It wasn't the question. Do you know who's responsible, sir? I am waiting for an investigation to be conducted, and when that investigation has been completed, we will then have whatever dis discipline is uh, warranted. On the radio broadcast, Houston says he called a meeting for Monday, April 29th, three days after the shredding of those documents took place. There is, is no question that I was extremely upset by what had, had happened. 
But according to this article from the State Journal Register, a week after the mayor's angry meeting, the head of the city's human resources department sends Houston an email wanting to know if anyone will be disciplined or reassigned because of the scandal. Melina Tamaris Collins reportedly writes, quote, a lapse in judgment this significant truly warrants accountability. She continues, the city has held other employees accountable for much less egregious actions and from employee observations, no lesson has been learned. One day after that email is sent, now before television cameras, Mayor Houston seems to be defending the man whose embarrassing police file the city would later in court documents admit to intentionally destroying. I think that probably this is a direct result of different factions within the Springfield Police Department that are attempting to discredit one person who they consider to be a candidate for chief of police. In early June, I began investigating the shredding scandal and asked the mayor then if he was angry. Were you angry? Again, I'm not going to, to get into specifics of anything given the fact that we're in a situation where litigation is pending. Then the mayor said this on the radio. We cooperated fully with the Illinois State Police in their investigation because I was as interested in being as transparent and getting to the bottom of this as anyone else within this, this community. July 16th, 2013, the night after the first part of our Ready, Set, Shred series airs, I catch up with Mayor Houston outside of city council chambers and try to get his reaction. This is what happened. Um, Mayor Houston, can you answer some questions about what just happened? Well, for one thing, uh, they had contacted the Illinois Attorney General's office to ask the question. And the Attorney General's office advised them it was okay to destroy those records? That's, that was what, the, what they indicated. The mayor was never asked, and he never offered to identify who the they were that told him the AG's office gave them the thumbs up to destroy Busher's file, which was under FOIA. This timeline sent out by the Illinois State Police to News Channel 20 shows that former assistant city attorney Jeanette Wittendorf called the FOIA hotline number at the state attorney general's office just hours before the contract change was signed, allowing for the immediate destruction of the Busher file. Several sources close to the investigation now confirming to News Channel 20 tonight that Wittendorf spoke with former assistant public access counselor Matt Hartman at the AG's office. The same sources say that during her state police interview, Wittendorf states Hartman advised her she was on solid legal ground to destroy that file under FOIA. But these same sources tell us that during a phone interview with Hartman, while he recalls speaking to Wittendorf, he does not recall specifics of the conversation, but adds he would never have advised Wittendorf that it was okay to destroy a public document under a FOIA request. Now, for one moment, let's just say the person in the AG's office gave the city to go ahead to shred the document under FOIA. The police department still shouldn't have done it because there's another layer to the city uh, that they had to go through before destroying any public document, the Local and State Records Act. And they have strict application rules and procedures on when and how cities can eliminate public documents. As we showed you in our series, Ready, Set, Shred, in July 2013, the city never filed the proper paperwork to destroy those files. We should find out more tomorrow. That's when the Illinois State Police is expected to release 900 pages regarding its shredding investigation to News Channel 20. Be sure to tune in to the latest on this tomorrow.